Uh, hi, in this video, we will talk about how to achieve browser compatibility testing in Test Sigma. Okay, as part of our Test Sigma series, we discussed how to work with Test Sigma in our previous videos. So in this, we will see how to achieve cross browser testing in Test Sigma. So for this, we already discussed how to work with Test Sigma by taking some test cases. So you just go to the left here, hover on this and click on test development. Here you'll have different test cases. So I'll go to verify login with valid credentials, which I already created. So now I want to execute this test case. So the moment when you click on this run, you see that by default, it will select a test Sigma lab and local devices. So in this video, we'll discuss about how to execute the same script in multiple browsers, that is browser compatibility, and the same way that is called browser compatibility or cross browser testing. And the same way how we can execute the scripts in our local devices also in my machine. Okay. So first we'll see, I, cre I click on test Sigma lab and by default it is selected Windows 11 machine, Mozilla Firefox. Okay. So I want to execute my script in Windows 11, Mozilla Firefox. So I just click on run now. Now it will execute your script in, you see that Windows 11, and uh, Firefox 107. So it's executing. So it will take a bit time to execute. So once that is done, we'll try to execute the same script in Chrome. So it started executing step by step. So it's done, it passed, okay, with Firefox. I want to execute the same test case again with different browser. So click on run. This time I will select Google Chrome. Okay. And if you want to change the OS, OS version and browser version, all these things are also possible. But at a high level, how you can execute your scripts in multiple browsers. So we will see that. So now I selected Google Chrome, click on run now. So this is called cross browser testing, the same script in multiple browsers without changing anything. You see that here, now it is showing Chrome, Windows 11, Chrome 107, and the resolution is this one, screen resolution. So now the same script, the same five lines of steps I'm executing in Chrome. Previously I executed in Firefox. So once this happens, we will try to execute the same script in Edge also. We will see whether it will execute or not. So taking a bit long time now, we'll see. It's taking long time to even boot. Yeah, it's done. You see that? It's passed. Now with Windows Chrome browser. So now I want to execute the same script using Microsoft Edge. See that? Microsoft Edge. And then just run now. You see that edge 107 it is showing, right? Now it will execute the same script in Microsoft Edge. So this is how you can execute the same script in multiple browsers. This is called cross browser testing without changing any of your test cases. I want to execute the same script in multiple browsers. So that is very easy in Test Sigma. You just click on run button, select what configuration you want and just run. So it will execute in Test Sigma Cloud. Okay. So let it execute. And the same way, if you want to execute, uh, you see that it is done. And if you want to execute the same script with the multiple operating systems also, it is possible. Just click on this run again. You see that 
you can select Mac OS. And then if you select Mac, you can select Safari, right? And version 15, and this is the resolution. And then you can run now, okay? This is how you can achieve. So let it, let's execute in Safari also. Run now, we'll see. So we, we have done with Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, sorry, Edge. Now we'll verify it, Safari also. You see that? Monterey, Mac, version 15, Safari. With this resolution, it is executing. So it is in progress. You see that? It's done. Same script with multiple browsers. Okay. So we achieved cross-browser testing in Test Sigma easily. We don't need to do anything. Just while running, you just select in which browser you want to execute. Okay. So one of the beautiful options in Test Sigma. Now, I want to execute these scripts or any script in my local machine. Okay, I have, you see that I have Microsoft Edge, Firefox and Chrome. I don't want to execute in Test Sigma Cloud. I want to execute in my local machine. How you can do that? So that is also possible with Test Sigma. So you just go to here, the same location, and you see that agents, right? Click on this agents. So the moment you click on this agents, it will come to this screen. So download agent and add a new agent. When you try to click on add new agent, you will get an error, unable to connect to the agent. Please verify if the agent has started. Okay, so first we need to set up an agent. So you just hover on this download agent and um, according to your operating system, you just download. I'll just click on exe. You can download zip also. Click on exe. So it started downloading. It is around 434 MB. So it might take some time. So once it is downloaded, you just need to execute this. So when you execute, what happens? It will try to scan your machine. What kind of browsers are available? Okay. This information it will capture and it will be ready for you to execute. So yeah, it is done. Let's go to the folder and try to run this one. First, we need to install this. And this is one-time setup. Just click on run as administrator, I'll see. So what is happening? Nothing. Let me try again. You need to install an app. You need to install an app for this task. Would you like to search for on the store? When I click yes, it's not showing me anything. So give me one second. Let me try again. So issue with my mission, it seems. So I'll click on agree. Next, you just install this one. So I downloaded a test Sigma agent. So from here, so if you go to Agents, from here, I downloaded. Instead of zip file, I downloaded exe file. So ignore. So 
So which one is compatible? I just downloaded exe file. And then completed, close. So you just try to go to the location where it is, go to the C drive. It will go to, you see the test sigma, open this inside the test sigma agent. You just click on test sigma agent. The moment you click on test sigma agent, it will start. You see that when you click here, so it is scanning for browser, scanning for Android devices, scanning for iOS devices, something like that. So it will scan and it will, it will come to know that what kind of browsers are available in your machine. So it scanned the browsers, you see, we got tick mark. So it is one time activity. So it will take some time to scan. You see that everything is done. Okay. So now it will open a browser. So Sigma is running. So now go to the test sigma again so if you try to go to agents i mean agents only add new agent so this agent is registered with different account registering here will unregister the agent from previous account so my mission i i just tried before this one how to execute so you can give whatever the name you want okay so my local mission. So activate later. I don't want to do this. I want to activate now. Click on save. So this is activating now. So the reason is now it is running here. You need to run this one. Test Sigma agent. So now it has done. So now I'll go to where? Go to the same test development and then test cases. Verify login with valid credentials. So this time I want to execute this test cases, not in the test sigma lab. I want to execute in local devices. When you click on this, you see that here, my local machine, the name which I have given that one and my version is Windows 11. My Windows version is 11 and you see the browsers. I have these browsers in my machine, it's scanned. So by default Chrome selected, just run now. So the same way when you execute in the test sigma cloud, the same way it will execute, but now the browser will open here. You see that the browser is opening. Previously, I have not seen that execution. The reason is it executed in the test sigma cloud. Now I can see the execution here in my local machine. It opened my Chrome browser, which is installed in my machine. So, it is very slow. Yes, click on uh, type and click on login button. And after that, it will close automatically. Yeah, it's done. This is that passed. So once again, I want to execute the same script in my local machine. Now I want to execute in edge and run now. You see that here, my local machine, Windows 11, Edge browser, 107 version. So this time also it will open, you see that? Chrome open, sorry, Edge opened. It started typing and it's done, right? And the same script I want to execute in my Firefox also. So that is what we are discussing, right? Cross browser testing. So we have seen in the test sigma, same thing. Now we will see in our local machine. For that, we need to set up an agent. So I just set up an agent while setting up agent. Uh, I got few issues in my, my machine that is. So I downloaded the exe file and executed and I click on test sigma agent. So while it is running, it recognized all the browsers which are installed in my machine. 
This is at Windows level. Firefox 106. That is what installed in my machine. Let it execute. And depends upon the browser to browser also. It will take some time. So it's still booting. So this is how, with the help of Test Sigma, we already, it is very easy to write these steps, right? Very plain English kind of tests, uh, test cases we have written. That is also easy. And if you want to execute the scripts in multiple browser, that is also a very, very easy. That's already open. So it took a bit time. So it's navigating to that URL. And once everything is loaded in the page, so it will start uh, typing the username and password, login, and then close. Right, that simple it is. So the test test scripts we have written in very simple, like navigate, enter, click, something like that. And execution also very simple in multiple browsers. That is the beauty of Test Sigma. Okay, so this is all about cross browser achieving cross browser testing in Test Sigma. And the same way how to execute the same scripts in your local machine. And the same way in the local machine also cross browser testing with multiple browsers. Okay. So please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video. Thank you.